you like to protect you from covid 19 the third wave and at that you're going to ask me whether there is going to be a third wave i don't think there is a doubt there is a 110% chance that there is going to be a third wave as you know and might have observed that the third wave has already started in the western countries in the uk in the us and it is a matter of time when the third wave hits india and if you notice what is happening in the uk in the us and it is quite worrisome is that the third wave has been created by a new variant the delta variant the delta variant for us was an old variant and this same delta variant started the third wave for them how bad it is only time will tell what is worrisome is for us in india is that again the third wave will be brought about by a totally new variant that is according to me and yes we have to work as a community to control this but we also have to work in a personal level to protect ourselves and from there i have bought this evike method to protect yourself from covid 19 evike is nothing but an acronym which i created it encompasses all the points we have been discussing in this channel i think for more than a year but i've created this acronym so that you can remember these points easily in your mind evike is something you will have to work on over time as you will learn as we go forward so evike what does it entail see i would like you to cover yourself remember this is protection of yourself on a personal level every man for himself we want to cover up the back end we want to cover up the main things and we want to cover up the icing in the cake and evike does that So we will start first with the two E's in EY: eat and exercise. We have visited my live streams earlier. We have spoken earlier about the four pillars of healthy living. They include healthy eating, exercise, mental health, rest and recovery. Over here, I would like to present you a shortcut to success. Mental health, rest and recovery are a little bit of long-term goals. Let us do something which is shorter and easier. And let's start out first with healthy eating. When we say healthy eating. what do we mean see i would like you to follow the 80 20 rule 80% of your meals should be wholesome foods but to know what is not wholesome some people call it junk food i like to call it treat food treat food essentially are highly palatable very tasty foods caloric dense generally in a lot of cooking oil maybe butter maybe ghee if you are in india case in point is a donut take a little bit of flour put a lot of sugar deep fry it it suddenly becomes tasty so this is essentially what i classify as treat food you could take a different example you take an example of a paratha a wholesome version would be your dry chapati while your treat version would be a paratha lot of oil flaky highly palatable very tasty essentially you have to classify this as treat food and i'm not saying you do not eat treat food but concentrate 80% of your meals on whole food food which you can find in nature and include 80% of this whole foods 20% of treat foods is not a problem why healthy eating because your serious outcomes of covid are directly proportional to the girth of your abdomen the larger your abdomen the more serious chances of serious covid 19 you have obesity itself is an independent risk factor coming to exercise and when we think of exercise we think about come on let's go run a 5k let's go to the gym let's tear up some weights it is not like that it's about starting a little bit easier right before running 5k you would like to walk a kilometer you then you would like to walk 2 kilometers 3 kilometers 4 kilometers then finally you want to start running 1 kilometer remember about exercise it is about consistency there's no point that you go for a walk for one day and then sleep for the next 10 days you might as well go for a shorter walk every day but be consistent remember the key with any kind of exercise and you have to enjoy it but the most important key is that you are consistent in it consistency is the key to any exercise it doesn't matter what you are doing as long as you keep yourself active and then you find a way to move forward and progress the first thing you have to do is get consistency so we will move from our e's and we will go into the v's the first v is vitamin d why vitamin d vitamin d has an anti inflammatory function and vitamin d has a big role in activating the immune cells of our body of course besides other functions here we are talking only covid 19 specific the source of vitamin d is the uv rays of the sun and to a lesser extent from diet why do i always stress on vitamin d it is because indians are chronically low on vitamin d why could this be see one we are culturally inclined if we go out in the sun we might get dark a second reason could be that uh, we are inherently dark skin darker as skin in the less uv rays can be absorbed indians are primarily vegetarians so we are not getting vitamin d from our diet another reason for low vitamin d could be age the older you are the less vitamin d you synthesize and again another reason for vitamin d low vitamin d is obesity vitamin d is a fat soluble vitamin the more fat cells 
you have the more the vitamin d is stored in your cells and is not available for utilization by the rest of your body so what are the normal levels of vitamin d you should look for normal levels of vitamin d are between 30 to 80 nanograms per ml i recommend everybody to go and do your vitamin d you will be surprised according to my clinical practice 70 percent of people have low vitamin d at no point would you like to be less than 20 nanograms per ml it is a dangerous situation you would ideally like to hover around over 50 nanograms per ml and the toxic level is over 150 nanograms per ml but let me tell you that it is a very rare situation to be have vitamin d toxicity so i would advise you to go get a vitamin d levels check so that you prepare for the third wave don't go in the last moment you cannot do anything much and then if your levels are not appropriate contact your doctor the doctor will probably prescribe some medications uh, supplementation from vitamin d depending on how low your vitamin d levels are the next we you might have guessed vaccinate 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 i think most of us uh, watching this have received at least one dose of the vaccine and are awaiting your second dose your job is not only to get yourself vaccinated but to spread the world there is a big chunk of population who is uh, apprehensive about the vaccine some of the reasons are uh, they have gotten uh, some side effects uh, they are worried about long-term side effects and their concerns are totally valid but if anybody has suffered from serious covid you will understand if you do get covid there might be a chance that that might not be a long term there might not be a long term to see the side effects let's take the safer option because the vaccine has been in the last six months has been proven to work time and time and again we have done with the e's we are done with the v's and now we move to another little bit of a controversial drug ivermectin there is some quite credible data that it does work and there is another school of thought which thinks that it does not work my funda is very simple see there is data that it might work prophylactically we are talking about prophylactically here yeah that might work profit prophylactically and there's a school of thought which says it does not work it is unsafe what not what not but i'll give you some data but my my fundas are independent of the data there is some positive data, there is no doubt about it. But if something has a chance of working and has relatively no side effects, it is cheap. So why not utilize it? It baffles me. It baffles me. But I will just bring you to one uh, website. I don't think most of you must have uh, come across this. Uh, go to vgxs.org. Crawl down to the page and just under uh, tick the agreements. VGXS is basically a pharmaco surveillance site. Over here, I would like you all to check for the side effects of ivermectin ivermectin is been administered already for more than 4 billion people over the last 35 years 30 or 35 years it is a very well researched drug this is where it wins over the vaccine but it is not a replacement for vaccine remember that this could be the icing on the cake and i want to show you the adverse drug reactions 4 billion doses there are around 5500 uh, cases of reactions are reported Okay, and these are the adverse reactions which have come up in these 4 billion doses. And I would like to bring you to a very important statistic. Come to general disorders. And I would like to highlight this to you. There have been 20 deaths from ivermectin. See, every drug inherently has a risk there have been 20 deaths attributed to ivermectin it has got an inherent risk for 20 deaths in 4 billion doses over here i would like to make a comparison with a very mild drug which many of us must have had over the even the last one month paracetamol there have been many more doses of paracetamol then ivermectin which have been administered much more than 4 billion but then again every drug has got an inherent risk there are around 165,000 adverse reactions 166,000 yeah but also the number of drugs uh, the number of doses administered is much higher uh, bear that in mind but I, what I want to portray to you every drug has an inherent risk and at the same time I want to portray to you how low risk ivermectin really is and then we go to general disorders we look for deaths so there are around 3800 deaths attributed to paracetamol also paracetamol can kill so i'm going to shut this talk on ivermectin because i don't want my channel to be pulled down there are a lot of channels which have been 
shut down because of too much ivermectin talk <laughs> and i have worked too hard for this <laughs> to lose this channel so let's move on from here c now and c is very simple covid appropriate behavior this is about the icing on the cake we have created this habit over the last one year there are a lot of places in in, in the world which are uh, relaxing covid appropriate behavior but this is going to bite them on the behind if you can pardon my language it is not yet time if this has given you some value boop that like button subscribe if you haven't already signing out dr rohan fonseka